thanks for waiting. I'm a little bit late today. As you can see, I'm wearing a mask. Cuz, Korea. Wow, Korea has a lot of air pollution today. So I had to rush home today and prepare this lesson. And I know you guys have been waiting. Thank you very much for waiting. Uh, I'm a few minutes late. Can you guys hear me and see me? Let me know in the comments. All right, so today we're gonna do, my name is Robin Shaw, and if you're joining for the first time today, welcome. Today's topic is uh, writing. As you can see, Wednesday, I'm gonna start doing writing. And before I get into the topic, I'm just going to check who's in the chat room here. Lila's here. 69 Moo Jane's back. Diallo, Fatih, Akan, Jihad. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Prakar's here. Welcome. Dmitry Raskalov is here from Thailand. Again, Dmitry, are you Russian? And why are you in Thailand? Reina Jumi, Carrie Page, Fanny. Hello, hello, hello. Cassio and oh Layla says she's waiting <laughs> sorry just a few minutes today is very busy I hear and see you thank you Arash I'm always worried I'm just talking and nobody is there to listen Jihan is here all right I didn't have time to uh, put any notice in my uh, whatsapp group so if some of you are in my whatsapp groups could you please notify them that I started my live stream? I didn't have time today. Yeah, uh, I tell you guys, Korea, Korea, the air is really dirty these days. Uh, I can feel uh, my body condition is not good. My eyes hurt. Um... I don't know, it's it's tough living in a, a place with a lot of air pollution. But hopefully it gets better in the next few days. Noor Ahmed, hello, lofty guy, welcome, and win. Hi sir, I'm waiting for five minutes, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, so today uh, is writing, and I prepared just a simple topic on basic writing uh, because I'm going to do writing every Wednesday. Uh, I'm just going to go slowly, simple, 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 simple. Today is not going to be too complicated. It should be pretty easy for most of you, and uh, I had to make my PPT really fast, so... If you find a mistake in my PPT, tell me. You will be the, the student of the day if you can find if I made a spelling mistake or some grammar mistake. Hello, Stephanie. Welcome. And let's see. We should have... Let's see, any of my students here? I didn't, uh, yesterday I asked for my students to come and today I asked a few more students to come. Are any of my students here? If my students are watching, log into YouTube and join the chat. This is a live stream and uh, participation in the chat room is very helpful. Yeah, thank you, Lila. Jose Silva, welcome, welcome, welcome. So all of you guys, uh, I think you know the structure. I'm going to do the introduction, which is now. Then I'm going to go into the topic, which is writing today. And then after the topic, English Q&A. So if you have any English questions, uh, ask me after the topic. Post is pending. Okay, well, I'll go to fix that right now. Thank you, Arash. Let's see. 
One post needs approval. Basic writing. Approve. Okay. Arash, our capital has the worst air quality in the world. So you're in Bangladesh, Dhaka. And yeah, I was there. And I agree with you that uh, when I visited uh, the capital city in Bangladesh, out of all the places I've been, that was the worst air. S sorry, Arash. Uh, I know it's very, and I know all of Bangladesh isn't that bad, but the capital city, Dhaka, is really, really bad. But, you know, these days, Arash, Korea is just as bad, and some, t some days worse than your home. Oh, it's getting terrible. Nafas, hello. All right. Oh, there's one of my students. I have one student today from my uh, college. If any other students are watching, let me know. Okay, let's get into the uh, writing. Do you guys like writing? Yeah, Grace, we're going to die. Uh, basic writing... And today I'm just going to talk about, it's very basic, guys. It should be easy. Uh, capitalization. What is capitalization? What does capitalization mean? A, B, C, D, E. That's capitalization. So everyone knows that uh, English letters have, like if we look at A, there's the big A and there's the small A. The big A we can call uppercase. The small A we can call lowercase. Yeah, Arash, uppercase, lowercase. And when we say capitalization, we should make, make it into the big A. That's capitalization. So it's called uppercase or capital letter or big letter. So when should we use big letters? That's kind of what's, uh, what I'm talking about today. And again, I think you might learn a few things today, but most of it will be pretty basic. Pretty basic. All right, so the most basic form or basic way we use a capital letter, of course, is the beginning of a sentence. And uh, I think this is a basic writing, right? Everyone should know that. But I am amazed because uh, every day a lot of my students do not uh, put the capital at the beginning of the sentence. That is so uh, important in English. I know some languages don't use the Roman alphabet. You use a different kind of al alphabet, but any sentence, any sentence, that, that capital letter is so important to show us you're starting a sentence. And I think most of you know that, right? You know that, right? Uh, so if you look at uh, 69 Mujain, he, he asked a question there, how to improve your writing skills. And 69 Mujain, I'm going to tell you right now, you, you started a question there, how to improve your writing skills. Well, how should have a capital H? And it, that's a good question for later. I'm not going to answer, answer that right now, but your H should have a capital letter. Uh, Grace, I usually do that because when I do chat, it is lazy to click button and shift. Well, Grace, uh, I think most of what I'm talking about today doesn't really, you know, chat, uh, chat is uh, dirty, dirty English. If you're chatting, texting, people are, you know, they break grammar rules, they break spelling rules, and certainly they break capitalization rules. So, uh, this, is, this, this video would be more uh, formal. And I'm not going to talk about every way. I'm going to go a little quicker. So, of course, uh, proper nouns, uh, names. I like my teacher. 
So teacher would never be capitalized, but if, if you say Robin, I like Robin, and uh, especially names. Uh, if you write my name, I'll put it here, if you wrote my name with a small r, uh, I feel, you know, whenever I see my students do that, I feel a little bit uncomfortable because to me, a name 100% of the time is capital R. And I always write my name with a capital R. And when I see it with a small r, I don't feel that's my name. Uh, 69 Mujain, yeah, capitalize the names of countries, nationalities, languages. Yeah. So countries, of course, always capitalize. Always, always capitalize your country. You should be proud of your country. Make sure it has a capital letter. Ziad, well, save the questions, Ziad. I'll, I'll, I'll keep talking here. <clears throat> and places. I went to the bank. I went to Wells Fargo. Um, Wells Fargo is the name of a bank, one of the biggest banks in the world. I don't know if Wells Fargo is in your country. Uh, I don't think it's uh, in Korea. I think it's mainly American bank. But uh, when I travel in the U.S., I always see Wells Fargo, and that's the name. My, my name, a company name, any brand name, you should always have capital letter. Uppercase, capital. Remember, those mean the same thing. And of course, countries, nationalities, languages. All right, and just the word I, I, you all know I, here, let's cut that a little bit. Uh, I, when you're talking about I, is always, always, uh, always capital, all right, when it's just I. It doesn't matter if I is in the middle of a sentence, where beginning, wherever I is should be capitalized, should be uppercase, always. You cannot write smaller case I when you're just saying I. So my sentence there today, I went to the cinema, I think I'm very cold. So today I should be capital, I went to the cinema, I, I capital, think I. I'm, there's a contraction, I'm, but the I is still capital. I is always capital. Ziad asked that question after the topic. Yeah, and I'm going to talk about uh, Casio. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. So remember that, I. Days and months, okay? So days of the week, months of the year. I went to school on Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those are always capitalized. Always, always capitalized. Uh, whenever you say the day of a week or write, you're writing the day of the week or the months of the year, make sure you're using a capital letter. Nari, hello. We're talking about Capital letters, uppercase letters. I go. You, I hope you guys are watching because uh, and listening because I'm going to test you later. We're going to have a test in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, acronyms. Acronyms. Now, what are acronyms? Uh, acronyms are when we take a big English name or expression and we make it, we just take the first letters and make a word. So, in the USA, the National Aer Aeronautics and Space Administration, that is too big to say, so we, uh, we make the acronym NASA. So N-A-S-A. -A. We don't say the N-A-S-A. -A. We just, we make it a word, a smaller word, an acronym, and we call it NASA. And another acronym would be laser. Psst, psst. 
the laser light. So laser, uh, of course, uh, what, what is that? Light amplification by st uh, stimulated emission of radiation. Uh, we don't want to say that. So everyone, everyone always just says laser. Now, are acronyms capital, uppercase, or lowercase? Well, NASA is the name of the organization. It is a name. So the name of the organization is capital and we, we say we should use capital letters in the acronym. Now, laser, the name is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Now, I put capital letters to say what laser is, but in the word laser, if you're ever writing laser, you don't capitalize it. it the word is so common. Uh, the gun shot a laser. We would never capitalize that uh, acronym. So if you have any questions about acronym, so Grace, how about BTW, LMAO, those things. Uh, so Grace, those are only used in chat. So there's no rule, right? Grace, we would never write that in an essay or we would never write that in an email uh, I mean, a formal business email or something, uh, you would not write those. So those have no rules. Those are just chat expressions. Okay. Let's go. Init initialisms. So initialisms are different than acronyms. So you can see the acronyms, NASA, it makes a word, NASA, but the initialisms, I don't say ASA, <laughs> I say U-S-A, right? So initialisms mean you say the letters, U-S-A. Uh, another popular initialism might be FBI. And I'm checking, oh, Pak Min, welcome. The Tuesday class. Grace is asking Addis. Addis? I don't know what Addis is. Addis? What is Addis? I don't know what Addis is. What's Addis? Oh, AIDS. Oh, AIDS. Yeah, AIDS. Uh, AIDS would be an acronym because we don't, initialism would be AIDS. No, we say it as AIDS, a word. So it's an acronym and it would be all capital because it's a name of a disease or a name of an illness. Korea is just an abbreviation and short for Korea. Yeah, you should write it all capitals. And yeah, BBC, BBC. We we, we say the letters. The B, we we don't say it. We don't say it like an acronym, Bubuk or Bubus. We say it as in initialisms. BBC. Initialisms are always capitals. Can you guys think of another initialism or another another word we just say the letters? Type it in here. What's another initialism? UK UN Dialog good. WHO, yes, VOA. Voice of America. So these are initialism. You would say the letters. Acronym, you wouldn't say un. Uh, I guess you could say for Arash, you could say the who. But I don't. Uh, I think people just use it as initialism. The WHO, World Health Organization, CNN. Yeah, you copied BBC. And there's another one. Uh, 
the World Badminton Federation. Are you a badminton fan, Arash? I know this is small, but... ATM. I don't know if you guys can see that. What's an ATM? What's ATM? What's that in English? That's an initialism. I have to go to the ATM. What does that mean? A. Yeah, money. Grace, you, you know what, it, what you do with the machine, but Grace, what is ATM? Yeah, so he had his money machine, but what is A? What is T? What is M? You guys don't know. You're checking maybe the dictionary. All right, Arash, he's quick. Automated teller machine. So uh, nobody says I need to go to the automated teller machine. We're always going to use the initialism. I need to go to the ATM. And it is capital. Capital A, capital T, capital M. So, remember that. So, a lot of acronyms can be capital or not capital. But, the initialisms are always capital letter. Always capital letter. Alright, uh, that's, that's capitals. That's easy. Those are the main rules. So, let's do some practice here. I want you guys to tell me uh, what's wrong with this sentence. I can get it big there. What's wrong with this sentence? Correct this sentence. How about you try to rewrite, get your thumbs out on your phone, if you're watching on the phone or the keyboard, rewrite this sentence correctly. Oh, Stanley, the WWF. Yep, yeah, that's uh, initialism. Okay, win. Win wins. So you can see right away, I hope you saw that there's two mistakes in this sentence. I know a lot of you got the W, but there's actually two mistakes. Let's take a look here. So, of course, uh, the W after Robin, after the comma, a lot of students are confused. Comma, uh, they put a bit capital. No, after a comma, it's always small. Robin, we're good university students. And, yeah, the university, I didn't say the name of a university. If I said the name of a university, like Harvard University, then the university would be capital. Uh, so Steph, oh, you guys got, I'm checking the chat here. I'll get caught up on the chat. Oh, Arash, badminton fan. I used to play badminton as a proportional player. I don't know what proportional player is. If any, we're good students university. No, we're good university students, FBI. We're good university students, Lila. We're good university students, Robin. We're good university students. Arash, Robin, we're good at university students. No, 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 no. We're good university students. Okay, you corrected yourself, not at, okay. So, 69, Mujain. Again, uh, initialism, you say the letters. U-S-A. I'm going to the U-S-A. And acronym, you, the letters become a new word. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to visit NASA. I, I don't say if I don't say I'm going to visit NASA. I'm going to visit NASA. So the acronym is a new word. Initialism, you just say the letters. All right, practice two. 
I need to study for the TOEFL test. Casio, MIT. Yeah, that's uh, initialism. MIT. You don't say MIT. We say MIT. We don't say MIT. So that's initialism. All right, I need to study for the TOEFL test. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that one? ABC, American Broadcasting Corporation, yep. I need to study for the TOEFL test. Mm, interesting, Lila. Diallo, you didn't change anything. Is TOEFL an initialism or acronym? TOEFL. Is that initialism or acronym? It's an acronym. That's correct, Zed. Because we say it as a new word, TOEFL. We don't say, I need to study for the T-O-E-F-L test. All right. And Jihad, uh, Hamad, you said the same as Lila. Well, there's no problem with that sentence. It's correct. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I, I just checking to make sure you understand. There's no mistake. I need to study for the TOEFL test. Now, you can write... Here, I'm going to... So sometimes with the acronyms, we put the period the dot between that. So you can write it both ways with the dots or no dots, no periods, but usually we don't put those in. We just make it a new word, all capital, TOEFL. Sorry, Lila. I am the CEO of a company. So CEO, initialism. We don't say CEO. All right, let's go on to the next sentence. I really love you. Something wrong there, or is that okay? I really love you. So, a lot of students, they... They want to emphasize a word. They want to emphasize love. I really love you. But uh, with the English rules, uh, you can't do that. Yeah, so you guys know we can't do that. We cannot emphasize a word by making the word all capital. Maybe in a comic book. But if you're writing an email or a letter, you shouldn't capitalize like that. Arash, I really hate you. Thank you, Arash. I hate you too. Practice four. What's happening here? Is there any problem? No problem? Problem? What's going on? TEFL, Teaching English a Foreign Language, acronym. All right, Jihan here. Yeah, uh, you guys already know that's an initialism. 
FAQ. What is F what does FAQ mean? What does FAQ mean? That's an initialism. FAQ. Yeah, FAQ. So we we don't say FAQ. We say FAQ, initialism. What is F? What is F? What is A? What is Q? Prakar, what is this, Robin? You guys, you're slow to answer. All right, there we go. Thank you very much, 69 Mujain. Frequently asked questions. So any every website, every website will have an FAQ section, right? Uh, the English website, they'll have the FAQ section. You go to the FAQ, frequently asked questions. So thank you very much, 69 Mujain. So yeah, this should be all capital, it's initialism, the FAQ section. All right, number five. This should be easy. After breakfast, we often go for a walk near the restaurant. What's wrong here? And Grace is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Grace got the, uh, Grace has the answer right away there, Grace. You're a fast typer. Yeah, very simple. You guys know the W on we should be small. But sometimes, uh, yeah, and restaurant should be small. I didn't say the restaurant name, so if I didn't say the restaurant name, it's not it's not capital. And practice six. What's wrong here? Yeah, Lila. Stephanie, Fanny, Diallo, Win. You guys, you guys type really fast. I'm Abdel Raham. Welcome. There's, there's two mistakes, guys. There's two mistakes. Grace, wow, I'm going to be a fast typer. Grace, you should practice fast typing with, uh, capital letters. Now, Grace, you don't have to capitalize game. That's just game is small. Jihan, <laughs> you didn't capitalize the E. Every Monday, got Stanley. All right, so I think most of you got that. Monday is the day of the week. It's Always capitalized, always, and dog is just an animal. I didn't say my dog's name, so it's just small letter dog. Uh, Grace, every Monday I walk with my dog. No, walk with someone means you're kind of equally walking together, but I walk my dog means kind of, I'm the master, my dog is the pet. I walk my dog. I walk with my dog. Uh, it's possible to say that, but usually when you do something with someone, it's equal. But it's possible to walk with your dog. But uh, in my case, it's more of a master-pet relationship, not necessarily a friend. All right, uh, next one. 
That should be easy. I drink Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola does not give me any money for this video yet. No, they'll never give me money for promoting them. I, I don't like to drink Coca-Cola, but it's just an example. So what's the answer there? Yeah, it's a name of a brand and all, all brands, all brands, all brand names are capital. Coca-Cola. And that should be easy. Now, Lila, you can't, you can't do Coca-Cola all capital. Just the capital C's, which I'm going to talk about. Practice eight. Grace, Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi, Mepsi. All right, we went scuba diving in Australia. Now, SCUBA is an acronym. And what is, I don't even know what's, a, what is SCUBA? I forget. SCUBA is an acronym. And nobody remembers that, you can see, because I forgot. Uh, Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. So SCUBA is an acronym. So should SCUBA be capitalized or small? And a lot of you... Uh, this is correct. There's no problem in this sentence. But uh, sometimes they put a capital letter on scuba. So some, sometimes I've seen it like that, capital S. But uh, usually you don't need to capitalize scuba. It's just, it's a common word, scuba, scuba diving. We say it so much, it's just a word. We usually don't capitalize it. You shouldn't capitalize it. But I've seen some people capitalize it, but I think this is the best way. Like laser, it's so common. Laser, scuba, these are words. Scuba. Scuba, scuba. So no problem with that sentence. It is correct. All right. Practice nine. I love drinking coffee at Starbucks. Now, Starbucks is a brand name, but when you see the, when you go to the Starbucks coffee, you can see Starbucks is all capital letter. Raina, capital C on coffee. But if you go to the, if you go to Starbucks, on the sign, on the sign, it's always all capitals. So, and that confuses a lot of people because on the sign, any sign, any sign or advertisement, uh, these are not sentences, so it's okay to make capital letters in titles, in signs, but in a sentence, you guys know, we can never have all capitals unless it's an acronym or uh, the initialism. So I love drinking coffee at Starbucks. Starbucks does not give me any money for this video. It's just an example. All right, and the last example here, I like to study English. Anything wrong there? Uh, 
Why? Why is English capitalized? Why? Yeah, simply it's the name of the, the language. It's the name of the language. It's a proper noun, English. So whatever language, French, German, you should capitalize uh, English always. I like to study English, capital E. Yeah, you guys, Casio, Reina. It's the name of the language. It's always, it's, if it's, if you're talking about the name of the language, it's capitalized. There are some cases it's small, but I'm not going to talk about that. Most of the time, 99% of the time, you're using English as a capital. Casio, I speak Portuguese. Yep, that's correct. Capital P. English is the name of a subject. All right, guys, that was the basic, uh, this was the first video in the writing. Uh, I just talked about very simply capitalization. I, I know a lot of you already know uh, the rules, uh, but hopefully you learned uh, something a little more. Uh, do you have any questions? Any, that was question time. If you have questions about capitalization, acronyms, initialisms, anything. Any question. Jandy can. I'm learning English. No, Jet, you can't put English all capital. So Jandy Can, everyone, you take a look at Jandy Can. Sorry, Jandy Can, but you have a good example. You cannot put English all capital, only the E. I'm learning English. We're all learning. Well, we're all learning English. You're all learning English. I guess I'm still learning many things about English, too. Jandy Can, I'm new here. I know you're here. I know you're new here. Because I don't remember, your name is very uh, cool, Jandy Can. Raina, I'm learning English with Wiku. What is that? What's Wiku? Oh, you deleted that. Exam, Kim Nari, Kim Nari, Kim Nari. I would say her name is. Nari Kim, English. We coo. What is uh, people's names? We coo. I don't know. We coo. We cow. We coo. What does that mean? I don't know what we coo is. Is that the person's name? Is that like your friend's name? Your friend's name is Wiku? Ahmed Ayed, can I learn TOEFL with you? Yeah, Ahmed, you can learn TOEFL with me. TOEFL Zayed, I think, do you mean TESL or TESL? Do you mean that? Do you mean that, or are you talking about something else? Okay, Wiku is my friend's name. Yeah, Tessel, or uh, Tessel, or some people pronounce that Tessel. Uh, that's the... Uh, uh, what, what is that an acronym? That's an acronym for teaching in English speakers of uh, teaching English 
speakers of foreign language. I think that's the acronym. Teaching English speakers of foreign language. Or teaching English as a teaching English speakers of a second language, something like that. I, I took a TESOL course, but I already forgot exactly what it means. All right, so we have some question from Cassio. Thank you, Cassio. After suspension points or two points, oh, you mean a uh, colon or the dot, 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 we must use capitalize, we must capitalize, uh, no, not always, no, no, there's no strict rule you have to capitalize after that Casio. So, Lila, how do you, I know, acronym and initialism? We talked about the main ones, uh, there's, Let's see if I have some more acronym. Well, like, you know, I'll go to the big screen. Go back here. So there, there would be another common acronym. Because we don't say N-A-T-O, we would say NATO. Uh, what are some other acronyms? Uh, actually, this is an acronym too, RADAR. That's an acronym. Uh, those are the main acronyms for initialisms. Like in your computer, you might have a, a CPU. So, Lila, I think it's just a matter of uh, it's just a matter of memorizing the most common acronyms and the most common initialisms. If you see a word for the first time, uh, you know, you, you can guess sometimes. NATO is very easy to read. But if you saw FBI, you probably know you're not going to say FUBI. <laughs> FUBI. CD-ROM, that's an acronym, yep. Ahmed Ayad, can you talk about the TOEFL exam? I'm not going to talk about the TOEFL exam in this video. I made other videos last week about the TOEFL test, so check on my channel. I've already talked a little bit about TOEFL reading. And Hyungwoo asks the question, the word questions on your screen. Why is that capitalization? Uh, because capitalization is a rule for sentences. If you're talking about signs or titles, they do not follow these sentence rules. Right? So questions here uh, is capitalized, but you're probably asking about the capital Q here. Uh, technically speaking, I should not put a capital Q there, but uh, that any questions is more of a spoken expression, not really a writing expression. So if you're if you're writing something, you'd probably never write any questions. So I yeah, technically I shouldn't have a capital Q there, but for titles it's okay. Thank you, Hyungwoo. Fanny, a girl sits in a chair. I put I put uh, with capital in the beginning of the sentence, but I think it's weird. Use with in the beginning. No, capital A 
you have to, the beginning has to start with capital. A girl sits in a chair. It has to be capital, Fanny. It has to be capital. Stephanie, I like to eat Malay food. Is that true, Robin? Yeah, Malay food. Malay is an adjective, but it's also talking about the the name of the it's the name of the food. Malay food, yeah. Win, I think my writing is very simple. How should I do? How should I improve it? I think as my reading skill is weak, especially English books. Reading and writing go together. All right? So to improve reading, you need to practice writing. To improve writing, you need to do more reading. All right? So Steph, uh, sorry, Win. Uh, what you need to do is practice reading and writing together, and you will improve. You will improve. Perhaps Hyung Woo, if he's still here, would have some good advice for you. Grace, when you're checking students' students' essay, do you concern about capitalization seriously? Yes, very seriously. You're going to give them minus score? Yes, because I when I teach writing, I like this. The first thing I talk about. This is my first basic writing video. The first thing I always talk about is capitalization. Uh, because Koreans, um, I teach Koreans, they use a different alphabet, right? And in the Korean alphabet, I don't think there's anything like uppercase and lowercase. There's just one, one size. So I, when I'm teaching them English, yeah, right away I teach them capitalization is very important. All right, yeah, teaching English to speakers of other languages. Yes, TESOL. I studied TESOL twice. One time I studied TESOL in Canada and I, st I studied a business TESOL class in Korea at Hanyang University. I studied TESOL in Korea. Ziad, why did every letter in NATO and just first la letter laser? Well, no. Oh, I erased NATO. I should have left it there. So NATO is an acronym for an organization. And all organizations are capital. So North Atlantic uh, Treaty Organization. What is, what is NATO? Yeah, North, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. That's the name of an organ, organization. It's capital. So when we make the uh, acronym, we keep it capital. Laser. No, we don't put capital L on laser. Laser is just small, 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 because it became a word. It just became a word itself. It's so common as a word, uh, we just say laser. So that's an organization. This is not an organization. This is just a noun. Uh, Diallo. Oh, Diallo has a good question. In writing, can you use exclamation like da 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 question mark? No, you cannot do that, Diallo. Uh, a lot of a lot of students. They want to emphasize something. They put that or they put that. Can't do it in writing. No. You should. I never use an expl, ex, exclamation in formal writing. So if you're reading a book, they often use exclamations. But if you're writing an essay, you never use an exclamation. So formal writing Stay away. Don't use ex any ex exclamation. But if you're reading a storybook or some novel to express emotion, they're going to use exclamation. But they're never going to do 
two. All right, you're just gonna do one. But Diallo, that's really good for chatting, texting. I always do that if I want to show excitement or surprise. Yeah, live streaming or live live streaming. I live in the end. Why different to pronounce live and life? Live. This is the spelling of the word. But that is two words. They mean there's two words. They mean very different things. Live streaming. Live means happening right now. This is live happening right now. Live is from living. I'm alive. Living. Very different words. So live. I'm live. I live. I live in Korea. Live, happening now. Okay, Lila, no, no problem to help you. All right. Uh, LED, that's initialism. LED. LED display. How far? I'm about six, seven minutes behind. I'll try to get eight minutes behind. I'll try to catch up. Uh, Abdul Montalib, what's the difference between heard of and heard about? I don't think there's any difference, but if you can show me some example sentences, I think for the most, most of the time it means uh, the same thing, Abdul. Grace, I love to eat kimchi. Is kimchi capitalized? Kimchi is not capitalized. So Grace is asking about food. And of course, there's very popular and famous and delicious Korean food, kimchi. But for food, it is not capitalized. High five. Hi. Jose. Jose. Silva. I always write what I read. Not a book, of course. Oh, good practice, Jose. And Reina, also banana. I eat uh, bananas. A food is not capitalized. Sadiq, hello Robin, I'm late. No problem, Sadiq. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Lila, you can ask any question. Cassio, I think I wrote the wrong name. So what's the name of these symbols in English? Uh, the dot, dot, dot. I don't know if the name. And then colon. I, I will talk about that in a future writing video, but very quickly, because I'll teach you how to use these punctuation. I don't know if you can see that on your phone. So this is called a colon. And this is called a semicolon. And in a future writing video, I will talk about how to use those, but I'm not going to talk in detail tonight. OSI. Hi, Robin. Welcome back. Do you have any English questions? That's a... Uh, Kids Entertainment and Happiness Channel. You have a channel. I'm going to check your channel. You get free, let's see, kids, entertainment, interesting, uh, inter in interesting spelling of entertainment, because it shouldn't be entertainment, but that could be your brand. Kids, entertainment and happiness channel. I don't see it. You're new. Welcome. 
Do you have an English question? Sadiq. NATO is an organization. So, uh, North Atlantic Treaty, Treaty Organization. Rainy, Raina, thank you. Name of food is not written in capital. Yep. Name of company and brand and language and country written in capital. Yep. So, I like eating pizza. Is that correct? That's correct. Pizza is not capital. Sayed, everything is well to me. Yeah. Sadiq, thanks. Oh, no more questions? Okay, guys, I'm going to finish up in five minutes. Any last questions? You know what to do. Get your questions in. Tomorrow is pronunciation. Come back tomorrow for some pronunciation. Friday is topic discussion. Saturday is games. And Sunday I'll do some grammar. Uh, this Sunday's grammar is going to be prepositions. I'm going to talk about prepositions. So it's a very important... Uh, Sunday is always very, very important. Prepositions. So Lofty, Lofty guy, when does this show finish today? It's going to finish in about five minutes, Lofty. Uh, my target is usually an hour. After an hour, my brain gets cloudy. Although, excuse me, although today I seem to be okay. But sometimes my brain gets cloudy and I have to answer about grammar and sometimes I make mistakes so I try to shoot for an hour but sometimes oh I think yesterday was an hour and a half uh, Stephanie Jim no Jim is a word small 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 letters we there's no it's not a it's not an acronym or yeah it's not an acronym it's just a word, Jim. The fitness center. hyung I am glad that more people are learning English from you. I vividly remember you were teaching me how to write essays in English for the first time, including... Oh, you have a spelling mistake. Capitalization. Yes, thank you, hyung uh, But... I think uh, you're already beyond what I taught you. Already beyond. Far, far beyond what I taught you. I taught you just a little bit of basics. Grace, how about loan words in English? Where's your question mark, Grace? Is that a question? And what, do you, what is your question? What about loan words? What are you trying to say about loan words? Reina, I came from Malaysia. I'm from Malaysia. Well, I think I'm from Malaysia is the best, but if someone asked, where do you come from? You would say, I come from Malaysia. Where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. So it kind of depends on the question. Thumbs up. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, everyone who's watching now, Please like the video. That's how you pay me. You hit like. Your choice. Give me money or hit like. Grace. hyung Jo, you're lucky you have been thought. Thought from Robin. Grace, I think you want to say taught. And Grace, uh, I don't know, Hyung and I, we, we, I taught him, uh, I didn't really teach him too much because he learned a lot by himself. But Grace, yeah, yeah, we used, we, we, we used to and we still fight uh, every time we talk. But it, I think it's friendly fighting. I don't know.
Cassio, prepositions is very difficult. Yeah, so I'll, but I, I'm not going to talk about all prepositions on A, but I'll help as best I can. Lila, I prefer walking for 15 minutes every day and eating a health and eating. Can you see that? I don't know if you're on your phone, it might be very small, but I wrote a healthy food. So you said great, uh, sorry. Uh, that was Lila's and eating a healthy food now in this case food you're trying to treat food as singular but you want to say you eat all healthy food right you eat all healthy food so we have to cut out that ah so I prefer walking for 15 minutes every day and eating healthy food in order to stay fit so take out the ah it's perfect stephanie thanks robin thank you for watching stephanie you sung june are there many new words in english what do you mean new words there's thousands and thousands of words and every year the dictionary adds hundreds of new words uh stanley sir Sir Robin and Robin Sir. Are these words, are, are these words, do these words have the same meaning? Do these words have the same meaning? Good question, Stanley. No. Okay, listen up, Stanley, and everyone else, because uh, these are very different. <laughs> Sir Robin, this is a, a title. Uh, if the king or queen, they can give uh, of a nation, like Queen Elizabeth II in England, they can give... Uh, I'm not British, so I don't know the rules, but the queen or king can give some people uh, some honorary title. And that title, when they get the title, we should call them uh, Sir. So, for example, uh, there's an actor, Anthony Hopkins. I'm sure some of you know Anthony Hopkins. He's a great actor. He's He's been in a lot of movies like... Uh, Silence of the Lambs. He's been in Marvel movies like Thor as Thor's father. Anthony Hopkins. He was, uh, I think it's called Knighted. Knighted by the Queen. The Queen appreciated him. Gave him an honorary high-level title. And that title, we have to call him Sir Anthony Hopkins which means very high level title. Uh, so the queen did not give me the title of sir. So you cannot call Sir Robin. You cannot call that. Now this sir has a kind of different meaning. This sir means I respect you, okay? So Robin, comma, sir, kind of showing respect. This is okay, too. This is okay. Or just sir. Hello, sir. That's good, too, to show uh, respect. So this is good. This is good. But this is only for people. All right. So lofty guy, Sir Paul McCartney. Yeah. All right, so I, I spent a long time explaining that, Stanley, but I, I enjoyed that question, Stanley. No one's ever asked me that, and I think it's good to know. Uh, I don't need you guys to call me sir, but I know 
uh, in a lot of cultures, you're, you're, tr you're trained to treat teachers with respect. That's fine. Uh, Robin, sir, or sir is okay, but I don't, you can just call me Robin. It's like flowers. Hello, Mr. Shaw. What is the main difference between American English and Canadian English? Because I think and heard you're very similar. Or maybe you could explain to me a big difference. Yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know if Hyungwoo is still watching. Do you know, Hyungwoo, do you know any different? Because Hyungwoo's in America and I used to be his teacher Canadian. So Hyungwoo, I think, knows very well maybe some differences between Canadian and English. Uh, I don't know, because I, I, to me, there's no big difference. It's like flowers. There's spelling is a little different. Spelling of some word. Some slang is different. Uh, but I'm going to say Canadian English and American English is 99% the same. But of course... Wherever you go in North America, the pronunciation, the accent is a little different. Uh, but I, I would say 99% the same. Another, an, an American might say something different. A Canadian, another Canadian might say something different. But I would say it's like flowers. Uh, I just, I was in America last month. I spent about... About one month in America, and I never had communication problems. I understood what everyone said. Everyone understood what I said. Uh, nobody said, oh, are you Canadian? So I don't think anybody thought my English was different. Hope that helps, Isaac Flowers. Oh, thank you, oh. OSI and Sadiq. Jihad Hamed. Raman, how many words should we memorize every day, especially if we're beginning how many words? Well, Jihad, I I don't like the memorize of memorization of word lists. That's not really my philosophy as a teacher. I push all students to acquire vocabulary through reading, a lot of reading, reading books reading Twitter, reading Facebook, but Jihad, do a lot of reading every day. If you spend every day 20 minutes memorizing a vocabulary list or 20 minutes reading, uh, I'm sure over a period of one year, two years, your reading ha has helped you to acquire a lot of vocabulary. The memorization of vocabulary lists, you're going to memorize the meaning but you're not really going to know how to use those words. Reading helps you to memor or to learn the words, uh, I guess know the words, and know when to use the words a lot better than memorizing words. So, Jihad, start reading, please, every day. Hyungwoo, Grace, okay. Hyungwoo is always nice in here. Uh, the one thing I, I like about uh, Hyungwoo, because uh, some of you know Hyungwoo, I've talked about him in other videos, and I made videos with him. Uh, Hyungwoo was, uh, he was, he didn't uh, show respect too much. Like, I was the teacher, but he's always willing to challenge me. Uh, which I really like, because I'm not always right, and uh, Hyungwoo has taught me many things and still teaches me many things. So Hyungwoo, uh, good for you to challenge your teacher. Uh, it makes you, you don't, don't always believe what the teacher says. Sometimes I make mistakes. In these videos, every night, I make mistakes, guys, uh, especially when my head gets cloudy, you know, there's 20, 30 questions coming in. I'm trying to go fast, and sometimes I make a mistake. But you guys, feel free to challenge me. I really like that when students challenge me, and that's probably one reason I like Hyungwoo. Grace, I mean, how about foreign lo loan word in English? No, we don't put capital letter for loan words, Grace. 
like cliche might be for, or deja vu deja vu is a common french word we borrow it we use it in english but it's not capitalized nari thank you reina thought and taught yep okay grace we put capital letters on titles yeah that's another place we use capital letters mr uh, mrs miss and grace you forgot the most important title Ms. Raina, I always called you Sir Robin. Well, Raina, thank you. I felt a little special when you called me Sir Robin. I feel like uh, a knight. But uh, from now you call me Robin. Oh, I think I'm a little sad. My position went down from Sir Robin to just Robin. But Raina, that is the correct way. You shouldn't call me Sir Robin. Grace, I think TOEFL, the English test, is more important than TOPIC, the Korean test. What do you think about Robin? So you should have a question mark. What do you think about it, Robin? Question mark. I took a TOEFL exam today. I didn't get a perfect score, though. Okay. I think I'm not good at Korean. Well, no, most foreign, most foreign, uh, most, most native English speakers will not get a perfect score on TOEFL, Grace. So I, I don't think that's a, an issue. Itzak Flowers. Okay, I hope that helps. Omani, hello. Do you have any questions? Lila, how to pronounce frightened, frightened, frightened. I'm very frightened. Uh, no, I'm very frightened. That T is, that T seems reduced. I'm very frightened of spiders. Yeah, I'm very frightened of spiders. So that T is reduced. I'm very frightened of spiders. Uh, does it have the same meaning as scared? Now he is frightened to go out at night. She's scared of her dad. Yeah, I think uh, they mean the same thing. Uh, There's synonyms. If you can find an example where they're different, I don't think they're different. He is scared to go out at night. He is frightened to go out at night. She's scared of her dad. She's frightened of her dad. Same. Stanley, thanks double of bunches, Robin. is clear for me now. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, good expression. Thanks a bunch. So Stanley is using a great ex uh, for speaking only, for speaking. Uh, thanks a bunch, which is another way to say thanks a lot. Good expression, Stanley. So thanks a butt. Thank us. Uh, thanks a butt. No, thanks a bunch. Same as thanks a lot. Ziad retracted. What does it mean? If you retract something, means you write something and then take it back. Retracted. So another way we just say deleted. But a, a formal official way would be retracted. Yeah, Grace, can we put capital letter? YouTube is a company, so YouTube uh, is capital letter. It's a company name. Or, and YouTube, YouTube is strange. Because the, the rule If we follow the English rules, uh, this is how we should write YouTube. But very special, you often see it written like this, capital Y, capital T. And actually, this is the way uh, you should write it. But YouTube is so special that they break the rules and nobody cares. 
Microsoft is a company, capital, and PowerPoint is the name of a program. So it is capital. Jihan, later, letter. Later, letter. That's how you pronounce them. See you later. Thank you for the letter. Grace, I think you'd get perfect score on TOEFL. No, 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 no. TOEFL is not just about English. TOEFL is also about being very, very smart. And maybe some questions, I'm not smart enough. But I, I would do okay. Thanks a bunch, Raina. Yeah, good expression. I hope you guys learned that. And Im He Jung. Hi. Hello, Mr. Shaw. Why we have to pronounce knife without K? Let's see if I can put the link here. Did it work? All right. So there's a link to a, a video. Uh, that I made with Bill, another teacher on my other website. And he did a great video of the silent K. Now in English, uh, there's thousands of words with silent letters. And why do so many English words have silent letters? Well, English is a very old language. So for hundreds of years, uh, the pronunciation of words changed over time and the spelling got crazy. So uh, the word knife, if we go back uh, 600 years, it could, ha it could have had, I don't know the history of the word knife, but it probably had a different pronunciation. Maybe they said kaif or something. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. But anyway, there's hundreds, thousands of words in English. That's a link to Bill's video. He talks about the common words with the K silent. Hope that helps. Thanks for your question. Okay, uh, any last questions? Yeah, Franz Dasson. There's night and night. They have the same pronunciations. Night. Yep. All right, guys, we'll stop here today. Um, tomorrow is pronunciation, so I'll help you with pronunciation. Friday is the topic discussion. Saturday is game day. Uh, I think game day is going to be popular this week because I think most students like games. They don't like to study, especially writing. And then Sunday, I'm going to talk about prepositions. So we have a lot of things to, I have a lot of things to talk to you about. And of course, every night, if you have any, well, you guys are studying every day. You're reading, you're listening, you're watching movies. You're trying to improve your English every day, right? So evidence is every day you're coming with some questions, all right? Because every day you're going to see something new. And every day, hey, I'm going to ask Robin about this. Uh, also, of course, uh, which way? There. The links, uh, you can join one of my groups to talk to me when I'm not doing the videos. But, uh, because this day is the first week of classes at my college, I've been super busy, so I'm very sorry to those of you, especially my WhatsApp group, I'm very act I usually I'm very active there, but this week I, I just been so busy. So uh, I've I think I've only visited there maybe once a day. All right, uh, so see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>